What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's me, Neon MUA, and I'm finally back to present you with some greatness. We're workshopping a new intro here, okay? Just follow along. So, hey, it's me. It's me, and I have a new backdrop. I don't know if you can even see me because of how flat this is. So, anyway, how are you guys? It's me, Neon. I'm back on YouTube, even though I've been at the lawn like other stuff but I'm still like kind of back so hmm, hi you guys you know mental break nothing's wrong I'm just uh, tired so um yeah here to do makeup here to talk to you guys about some stuff and we're gonna get into the shenanigans today's gonna be a get ready me I'm going to discuss some things that I've been talking about online um, some mental health stuff some personal things. I'm having a hard time starting because it's been forever. If it's your first time here watching my channel, hi, welcome to the Fireflies family, you guys. Thank you for joining, thank you for watching. And um, you should subscribe to my channel because there's gonna be new content that you guys wanna watch. So subscribe, hit the bell, and um, you know, get ready to watch some goodness. I'm, I'm still workshopping new stuff. Like, I feel like all my intros are old, but whatever. We're, we're just gonna work on per being personable here. I, I feel like I am, but it's fine. So yeah, guys, without further ado, we're gonna get into this get ready with me and um, talk about my depressing ass life. So, let's go. So there's a lot to this, or not a lot to discuss, but there's a lot of products to be using here. Like a lot of, I'm going to be using like a majority of like new stuff. I got um, Sugar Pills new fun size palette. We're going to talk about here. Um, some milk makeup stuff, which I'm really excited to discuss. First, before I start, I am now part of the studio fam from Milk Makeup. So basically, you guys are going to be getting pretty much like. The, the what's what with new products when it comes to milk makeup from me um, I'm actually gonna be using some new milk makeup products in this video. I'm gonna start with uh, my fave the milk hydro grip uh, Primer milk didn't have to send this because I already have it. All right, so um, I prime my face and uh, I guess now would be a good time to discuss like one of the things that I've been talking about online, like briefly. Before we start, I got the new Milk Makeup Flex Stick Foundations. They sent over three colors. I have um, Warm Deep, Golden Deep, and Deep. And I've already swatched them, so I already know what I'm going to be going with. Um, deep is going to be my contour shade. And uh, Golden Deep, I could use as a concealer shade if I wanted to. It, we'll see how it goes with the foundation, but my actual foundation shade is warm deep. So we're going to start with that. So one of the main things I kind of want to talk about in this video is something that I necessarily wasn't like planning to talk about per se, but here we are because it kind of came out. Uh, a few weeks ago there was a post by somebody I'm not gonna give uh, I'm not gonna like acknowledge the person or the actual post. long story short someone was on some bullshit decided to do a Vinalago inspired look you guys don't need to do blackface you guys don't need to do culturally inappropriate looks and you guys don't need to do you know, skin condition looks like there's no need for you to draw like fake rosacea on your face or draw acne on your face or draw vitiligo on your face. And so <sighs> that post came up and it kind of like stung me in like a few ways. One being that, um, as you guys know, Lauren is pretty much my big sister on t in terms of makeup. Um, I talked to her about just about anything and everything and um, so to see that someone is making a mockery of something that I know she deals with like even though she's like been open about her vitiligo like she's talked about how it's things that she still struggles with to this day and things of that nature and 
And then, so, of course, seeing someone who I looked up to, you know, constantly have to deal with, you know, people making a mockery or something that she's trying to get through on her own, it's annoying. The other reason why it kind of like erupted me was um, because I have been a Lego as well. I knew eventually I was going to have to talk about it on my channel because it started to become more apparent, but I didn't think it would be this soon that I'll be ready to talk about it, and I wasn't necessarily ready to discuss it anyway, but I had to, in the sense of this case, I just had to make it known that, you know, hey, this is fucked up because other people are dealing with it. And then you got people like me who are just now, or who are recently being like, I guess diagnosed would be the word with it, um, that they are trying to come to terms with it. And um, one reason why I haven't talked about it online until recently is because of the fact that I'm still like struggling with the concept and idea of it. Like, not necessarily, you know, I'm going to be ugly with spots on my face because that's not the case. But more so the idea of like learning my face all over again and accepting that this is my new norm. For me, it's been, it's been something that I've known that I've had for like about a year, going on two years really. The first time I like noticed that I had it was um, one day when I was, um, indulging in like adult activities um because <laughs> my first spotting came up in a, a private area there's different spots on my body where it is more apparent um it's fully developed in certain spots um but, <laughs> in terms of like my face which is tends to be most notable for people um my face is starting to get a little bit more not aggressive but it's more prominent if you will like i have well you can't see because that foundation but there's a spot here on my temple where i, I there's spots on my cheek um the forehead i can see it starting to develop more um pretty much my t-zone in the face so yeah that's been a little bit of a situation that i'm like trying to deal with but like i said talking to lauren has been extremely helpful um, I've also talked to my mom about it and um, come to find out my dad who told you guys passed away quite some while ago also had it um, his was a bit more aggressive if you will during the summer but um, it's something that I guess has been passed down to me and I'm that eases me a bit because it's like eh. again this isn't something I should be ashamed of but also it's like eh. like for 20 some odd years of my life my face looked fine if you will and then things change like of course you're going to notice things like that like even if you like get a wrinkle or something you're going to notice it so like i'm not like ashamed of it i've never quite been ashamed of it it's just been a matter of like being willing to open up and talk about it especially considering that you know people like to throw anything in out there just for like sympathy or compassion i'm not necessarily throwing this out there for sympathy or compassion like i said in my tweet i'm not necessarily a champion for this quite yet because this isn't something that I'm still learning about but ultimately I want people to see me especially dark skinned people and know that hey it is what it is nothing to be ashamed of and I think we as a community and as a generation have come to accept it for what it is so uh, yeah it's all good in the hood okay so like just like a review of the foundation the foundation is lovely a lot of times i don't like wearing stick foundations because they tend to slip and slide if you will this one tends to, or is staying in place i don't have no problems with her she's behaving she's acting accordingly and yeah okay so my face is done for the most part i'm going to do lip brows and then we're going to talk about my depression it's in mental health. Yeah, I don't know. No. Okay, you guys, the brows are done. Maybe they look good. I don't know. All right, guys. So um, went on Instagram because you know I'm trash and I don't know what to do with my life. And I was like, oh, what do you guys want? Palette you want me to use? And learning about you guys want me to use Sugar Pills um, new palette, so we're gonna do that. Um, 
So yeah, here we go, gals. I've always been intrigued about Sugar Pills products. This is my first time using Sugar Pills products. I'm really excited about using Sugar Pills products. Did I say that I want to use Sugar Pills? We're gonna use Sugar Pills. All right, cool. Lovely. Let's get into the gig, gal. Okay, so I asked you guys on, or I was like on Twitter. I was like, you know, whenever I decide to do another YouTube video again, what do you all want me to talk about? And um, mental health, sin mental, mental health, sin seem to be the talking discussion talk. Everybody wants, we're going to talk about mental health today. So I know a lot of people were asking me what are my mental health struggles as well as, you know, how I deal with them, if you will. So we're going to, we're going to start talking about that. So when it comes to my mental health and the things that I associate with, um, the major thing that I associate with is me having ADHD. Uh, if you guys aren't aware of that, of what that is, uh, ADHD is, is an, wow, sorry, the plastic was still on my palate. ADHD. So ADHD is Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder, which basically in a nutshell means that, you know, I can get easily distracted, just saw that. Um, my attention span tends to be very small. Um, I have a hard time concentrating sometimes. Things of that nature. Um, so for me, when it comes down to it, um, my biggest issue is, um, I would say my biggest issue is like distraction for the most part. I also have an issue with um, being focused and getting intrigued into something. Um, having motivation to do much of anything. Um, I mean, some of that might be depression as well, but for the most part, it's that. I didn't I didn't personally pick up on it until I was in college, actually. Um, for the most part, in elementary, middle, and high school, I stayed pretty busy, I stayed pretty active. Um, I was in accelerated programs. Um, so like teachers saw like how I was mentally behaving and I, I guess they never, I, I, maybe my ADHD was never an issue growing up. So maybe it might just be where I have an adult form of ADHD. Either way, it's there, it's there now. Yeah. And I remember one of my friends was like, um, Darius, I think you have ADHD. And I was like, what? <laughs> Um, and they were like, you know, it's nothing like you should be like overly concerned about in terms of like letting it like mess up your day or having a hard time like function as a adult human being. And at this point, I still don't have that issue. Like I can still function. But they were like, um, you could definitely, you know, go see a doctor and they would, you know, get you medication for it and steps to, you know, to change or like to help, you know, your, make your day easier, if you will. Um... And so, I never did. <laughs> also, real quick, um, this palette's cute, and the color payoff is cute. There it goes, ADHD. Um, <laughs> like, it kicks in, like, for me, uh, it's weird because there can be times where um, I have a really hard time focusing, and, you know, my fix for it would be to listen to music or do some makeup or what have you. There are other times where I'm so wrapped up in what I'm doing that it kind of jumps up like it is now where like I'm all over the place and I've said it in past videos that you know my ADHD is kicking in and this video may be a bit scatterbrained and so it's a part of who I am. I'm not necessarily, I'm not ashamed about it. Like, if you ask me about it, I have no problem telling you. Um, I feel like it really does, although it can be a damper sometimes, I feel like for the most part, it shapes who I am as a person. So like, that's the major thing for me in terms of like mental health and how I function. And um, I'm in a good place when it comes to like controlling it and just being like a, a healthy, happy human being. This palette is cute. Like 
pastel colors on deep complexion that blend out this well. This is my first time playing with Sugar Pill Shadows and I am not disappointed in the slightest. The color palette is great. Um, and again, having pastel colors work on deep complexion is something that can be very challenging for some people and I'm just really thrilled that this shadow is performing darling. Other things that like tend to affect me uh, depression is one I feel like for our generation depression can be very easy to get into and I feel like especially in the field that I'm in depression tends to haunt and taunt on a daily basis um and it's sad that I have to say this but it, it has a lot to do with like competition if you will um I can tell you that there have been times where I've seen people like get things very deservingly of course um I have very talented friends associates uh mutuals if you all the things that are very talented very stunning very gorgeous and very deserving of everything they get and you know i get a lot of things too like i'm not even going to front like being on different pr lists and having the chance to do the sponsor content with different brands and things like that it's great um but i can tell you that a lot of the depression that i tend to deal with kind of deals with like my interactions with other people um, I can tell you now that any kind of depression I deal with it is focused on one of two things one being like people getting opportunities and working with brands and things of that nature and the other one tends to be more of a, like a real romantic depression if you will um, so in terms of like I, I hate to say it but it could be it, it probably very much is jealousy um, but not like jealousy in terms of like spite because I don't hate these people like, at the end of the day if you're happy in a relationship I'm happy for you but it or if you're getting like these big deals or chances to work with brands I'm happy for you and I imagine people feel the same way about me um, but you know sometimes like for me I can get so caught up and wrapped up in like my work and seeing other people flourish and I'm not it can be a bothersome like I know especially when I first started out I had a good group of friends uh, black content creators black boy beauty black beauty boys who were um, who have been making content for like two three four or five years and like I just started out and I was getting frustrated because it was like they had like all these viewers and all these subscribers and things of that nature and I'm just like well where is my following why don't I have these things? Yeah, it's just a matter of like, just being patient. And that's one thing I've never had. And, and just learning that, you know, if you continue to work with your craft and you continue to push yourself, and you continue to build up this brand and this name for yourself, then eventually people are gonna notice. And people have noticed and I've gotten opportunities. There are things that I'm working on now. Can't talk about, there are things that I have done in the past, like my collab, things of that nature, that really, reminding me that you got this homie like don't flex like yes it's hard looking at other people and seeing them flourish but ultimately there are things that you're going to flourish at and you're going to be proud of yourself for it. and ultimately you shouldn't worry about you know keeping up with the joneses the other thing in terms of my mental health um like i said it's more of like a romantic situation and I'm so trash for even like feeling this way I'm about to go in with some glitter so I'm just gonna start with that ABH uh, liquid glitter so, um, but yeah it's so stupid for me to even feel some kind of way about this but a big part of like when I get in my depressing moods is like just being sad about not being able to date anyone <laughs> like um I be like legit sad so ultimately for me dating is always a struggle um and I be getting in my feelings and sad and stuff because like my friends would be like oh, I'm going out on a date or I met someone I'm like oh my gosh I'm so happy for you like what the fuck um you know putting a brave face on but ultimately I'm sad as fuck cause like oh by the way the glitter I'm using is the Trixie Cosmetics um 
So face glitter. I forgot what these face glitters are called. They're called whatever the face glitters are called. Engineers put it up. Um, the face glitters from Trixie in the color Malibu, which is that blue green one. So cute. I've always been the friend that's been supportive and gave advice when my other friends are like dealing with relationship or dating problems. Wow, Trixie, this glitter is stunning. Oh my god. I've always been that friend to like be there whenever my friends are dealing with their own shit, whatever. But you know, I be in my feelings. I be in my bag too. Um, every time you see me, I be crying because I ain't got no new shoes. It's also annoying when like <laughs> uh, you have feelings for this one guy, and like you guys are like really good friends. You would even consider him my best friend, and uh, you have strong feelings for him, and he cares about you and wouldn't be against dating you because he has a problem with long, long distance relationship even though you guys are only about four hours apart and live in the same state and you're struggling because like you ultimately want to be his boyfriend but you're scared to tell him that because you're scared of rejection but maybe you'll think he'll watch this video and if he does he might decide to be your boyfriend but I doubt he will and now you're stuck you're looking stupid anyway for me um, ultimately Dealing with any kind of, or any form of depression that I've dealt with, it's always just been a matter of realizing that A, you're human, you're allowed to feel this way that you're feeling now, it's okay to feel upset, it's okay to be down, um, and B, recognizing that this moment will not last forever as long as you don't allow it to, like, it's okay to be upset sometimes, you guys, like, I completely get it, but it also understand that you know if you don't want to be in this depressive funk and I know it's easier said than done but sometimes it's just a matter of saying you know what I'm done feeling this way I'm going to get up and I'm going to attempt to make a better day of it and it's not always going to work you're not always going to have the best of luck trying to feel better about yourself but at least you're putting an effort in to try that's the way I see it um there are days where you know I feel like completely hit but if I you know if I'm not like trying to be better, at least for myself, um, then the depressiveness, depression will always be there. And then I know like with my friends, if they're dealing with some heavy shit, they need me to be there for them. So like, I know I have to be a good friend to them. And so I can't be like in my feelings and trying to help somebody else, you know? Maybe that's not a good mentality to have, but ultimately it helps me. In the words of Latrice motherfucking Royale from season four of Drag Race. Um, I want people to realize that it's okay to make mistakes. Um, it's okay to fall down. Get up, look sickening, and make them <laughs> eat it. I at least wanted to be vulnerable with you guys and let you guys know that hey, I deal with shit too. I have this bubbly personality most of the time, but you know, there's some shit that I deal with all the time. Like, boy, when I tell you, oh, the depression hits and I be feeling like a failure. Oh, even like, oh, girl, you're not good enough. I'm like, girl, I know I'm not good enough. Leave me alone. Shit, what do you want? Girl, you try to come on. I'm going to finish up the eye. I'm going to draw like finish up the bottom lash line and. Mascara and lashes, and then we'll come back to the rest of the face, and then we'll just finish up. So, <laughs> be right back. All right, back. Going to finish up the face. I'm going to make this short, sweet, and to the point. So, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Foil Palette in the shade Stone Cold and use that to highlight. So, you know, coming back, doing videos again. No one should be over alarmed because I'm always going to fall off face earth and do videos because that's who I am. But no, I'm going to, um, next video I'm going to be recording all weekend because I'm going to be doing my ABH um, Norvina palette videos because Norvina's released three eyeshadow palettes for the holiday season. So um, I actually don't even think these are holiday palettes, they're just palettes. Originally I was going to do like a make a battle royale, but that's going to take way too much time. So I'm just going to break up the videos in like three parts so that you guys can, you know, get tutorials of whatever one you want to see. Um, if you guys aren't using Hustle & Glow's Holy Water, then you guys really are missing out. I like to spray Holy Water like throughout my makeup application, um, just to like, kind of like, 
get the setting process going and then it adds like a little bit of shimmer and glow so like if you notice like little blue reflex i'm wearing the shade superfly which is like a blue iridescent but i love this stuff um so i just go in and spray holy water um you can use it as a setting spray but i like to use it before setting spray so I yeah now i'm going to do my lips i'm taking the urban decay hi-fi shine lip gloss in the shade snap all right guys this is a completed look i really must say all right i'm glad that you got so many years of sugar put palette because it really turned out really nice it's like pastels on deep complexion what she's cute and everything just blends it like i need more sugar pill palettes i need more sugar pill shadows <sighs> i do um trixie's glitter is also really cute in the inner corner in the inner corner and it's not painful i know trixie said that these glosses are more plush so they're not like cutting the eye milk's makeup uh foundation sticks really good it um, I gotta say this is one of the better foundation sticks. I don't like using foundation sticks too much because they tend to shift and move throughout the application process. Uh, this one did not. Everything stayed in place. Uh, it might be because the um, the Milk Loose Setting Powder works best with it and um, also wore Hydro Grip under it. So uh, Milk has really nice complexion about this. And I'm excited to try them. I'm glad I'm part of their team. Everything looks just looks good. Everything looks really good. All right, you guys, this is the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, um, good. <laughs> no, um, if you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate if you guys gave it a huge thumbs up, like, and support because it means so much. Also, if you want to continue seeing my face on your YouTube feed, on your YouTube, on your, on your YouTube feed, uh, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss the next time I upload because, you know. Mm -hmm. Also, you guys follow me on all the social media accounts that is Neon MUA on Instagram, Twitter, as well as Snapchat. Love to have you guys be a part of the Fireflies family. Also, follow um, underscore to Neon, that is my music page. I will be posting music in the next month, so you guys get ready. Yes. Don't forget to follow the podcast, that is at the What Girls Podcast. Hopefully, by the time this video goes up we'll have an episode ready for you guys um within the next day or two so definitely make sure you are following us on is what girls podcast and listen to us wherever you get your podcast apple music spotify all that all that good shit do that all right guys that is the end of this video thank you so much for watching um thank you for sticking around and until next time take care I keep looking at myself through this mirror right here and I I get really happy when I wear blues and purples. Like it just makes me happy. I love cool tones. I do.